Hello everyone and welcome back to Ghost Trick. As you can tell, we are picking up right where we left off. We're in the prison. I haven't been able to see your comments about this guy yet, so... Last time I asked what voice to give him, and it was kind of stupid of me to do that, because I didn't think like, oh yeah, I'm not going to have a chance to change it at all. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Damn! Don't think I could take another second in this stinking pit. I mean, they let you keep a whole, like, set in here. Looks like the guard man is gone. All this waiting is wiping me out. Hope this one will finally do it. What? Oh, is he trying to clog the water? Come on, sausage head. Are they planning an escape? Okay. Hmm. This prisoner obviously isn't the one I'm looking for. Prisoner D99 has a beard. It was one of those little blackboards Lin would be... said would be in the cells. Maybe I should check out Spikey's schedule for tomorrow. There, I, I played along with him. He's gotta appreciate that, right? So this is one of those little blackboards that Lynn mentioned. Let me just give it a little read. Tonight. I lost a lot of things. My life, my memory. But there's a certain skill I've apparently lost too. I can't read! <laughs> I can see that there's some kind of writing on the blackboard. But I have absolutely no idea what it means. Oh no. If I can't read Prisoner D99's work schedule for tomorrow, what do I do now? When am I supposed to report back to Lynn now? If I tell her I couldn't read it, she'll kill me! But, uh, actually, uh, I guess I don't gotta worry about that one too much. Anyway, I might as well try to find Prisoner D99's cell. Hopefully I'll at least be able to find out something while I'm there. Can't go back to Lynn empty-handed. But of course, uh, a ghost doesn't actually have hands, either. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't turn the light off? I just thought that'd be funny. This telephone looks like it's an internal line only. Doesn't call outside the prison. So the only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building that I've already possessed. Oh, okay. This is to go back. I press the emergency button. I don't think I gotta do all that. I just gotta get in this uh, piece of paper, I guess. There's a pad of note papers hanging on the wall. A red O drawn on each one. I think it's some kind of letter or symbol, but I don't recall what it means. Okay. There's a pad of notepapers on the wall and an X on each one. I think it's some kind of letter, but I don't know what it means. Is he gonna try to tear one off again? It doesn't seem to be, okay. Well, in that case, I am pressing the emergency button. Screw you. Huh, an emergency button. An emergency in a prison. That's got to be a pretty bad situation. I'll just give it a little try. Go, go, go. Well, I didn't have a chance to get into that, so... Oh, there's a whole empty room here. Weird. I can't get into the officer's, like, keys or anything? <laughs> I can't view... Well, maybe from out here I can view around and see what's going on. I can, okay. I'll just walk that way. Is this guy gonna turn it off? Oh, well, I got the big baby up. All clear! Okay. 
So if I was in that phone, maybe. So I sound the alarm, it gets people moving, eh? Maybe I can use their movements to get around myself. That way I can get an idea of what's going on in each cell. Is this guy not gonna... Oh, he's literally doing it right now. <laughs> Here I go. Whee! <laughs> this is a character design, all right. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why is he just putting them in the garbage? Uh oh. What the heck? <laughs> oh, the phone book is for the characters' profiles, I see. By the looks of them, that must be the curry lover from the police department siege case. But never mind that, where did he go? What's going on in this cell? Anyway, there's a little blackboard here too. Just to be safe. Maybe I better check the curry lover's schedule for tomorrow too. Still can't read, but I better go check out Prisoner D99's cell anyway. Maybe I can find some kind of information that might help Lin out. Besides, I want to see what this prisoner Lin is investigating looks like. Get me in that spoon. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> so the curry lover comes back when he hears that bell. Can't make heads or tails of his behavior once he gets back, though. This prisoner isn't the one I'm looking for anyway. I'll just chalk this guy up to it takes all kinds. <laughs> Better try to find a path to D99 cell. Um So is so the piece of paper that he's throwing is a warning for this guy that the guards are coming. That's what it's for. I see. Same thing here. Looks like this is just an internal phone too. Doesn't call outside. The only places I can go with this telephone are other phones within the building I've already possessed. Yep, which is good enough for me, honestly. There he is. It's, uh, what's his face? Drew Misham. <laughs> but young. What a strange cell. And the prisoner inside it seems to be rather enjoying himself. This is the last cell in this area. So that means that this man humming to himself must be prisoner D99. According to what the guard said, he's got a beard. <laughs> Shot his wife right in front of him. What in the world really happened? And why is Lin so concerned about this prisoner? I don't know the answers, and I guess there's no need for me to know. I mean, just look at his hair and then look at her hair. <laughs> I only have one objective. And that's to find out what this painter's work schedule is for tomorrow. Is a safe? It's a picture frame. I can only close it. Photos, eh? I wonder if these are of his family. This one looks like a young woman holding a baby. Their faces have been blotted out with black paint. Did he do it out of hatred or some other emotion? Thankfully, that's not something I need to know right now. Okay. Newspaper article. Newspaper article's been cut out and framed. Fortunately, I can't read it. Probably about D99's case, man murders wife, or something like that. There's a picture of the alleged culprit in the article. Yep, it's this guy, all right. It's probably not what it says at all, but we'll never know. So, the work schedule tomorrow of prisoner D99... The information Lin's looking for should be written on this blackboard. Unfortunately, I've lost the ability to read it. But here I am anyway. The least I can do is take a look. Huh? What could this mean? There's 
nothing written on the board at all. I think something was written on the blackboards for the other prisoners. But this board is as clean and blank as the day it was hung here. Hmm, what could that mean, Sissel? I wonder. So I have the answer Lynn was looking for. Tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D-99 is nothing. Would this information mean anything to her? It's not up to me to know or care. That's how I feel at the moment, anyway. Not being able to read, I was wondering how this was all going to turn out. Some things in this world can be read, even if one can't read. Prisoner D-99's work schedule for tomorrow is blank. Better get this important information to Lynn as fast as I can. I have bad news for you, Sissel. She is undoubtedly dead again already. I hope I gotta close this. Boop. D-99, dinner! No, it's probably the normal guy. D-99, dinner. Quite a feast tonight, I see. Ah, and I'm absolutely crazy about this chicken. It's too bad it's all cold and hard, though. I'd say it's been about two hours since it was cooked, judging from the way it feels. D-99. I know it's kind of pointless to ask now, but just the same, I still want to know. Why did you do it? I agree. It is pointless to ask now. My case is colder than this chicken, and has been forgotten by everyone. Myself included. Detective Jowd. Now then, let me eat in peace before it gets too cold to be cut. There's one more thing I've been wondering for a long time. What's that? Who is the man in that painting? Oh, this. Well, being in prison like this, you start to forget faces, you know. So I paint the faces I don't want to forget. And this is the last of those faces. <gasps> now, could you leave me alone for a bit? Ah, let a man eat in peace. Okay, sure. Sorry to bother you. What in the world? What in the world could this mean? Why is there a painting of me in this man's cell? Who exactly is this prisoner? The man whose case Lynn is investigating and is painting a picture of me in his cell? I have to go see Lynn, fast, and not just for her sake, for mine, to solve this mystery of me. Trick time. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> Epic. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Quite gorgeous. Oh yeah, opening the waste basket. Uh, I don't think there was any point to that, <laughs> but whatever. This telephone doesn't connect to the outside. I've got questions I need to ask Lynn. I gotta get to a place that has an external line and fast. Is this chicken guy's place gonna have an external line? I doubt it. Um, guard room. Oh, I can go all the way back to the guard room from here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this guy? Okay. Static, this is headquarters. What's the status over there? Oh, Chief, it's you. They're making preparations now. No problem, sir. How much longer, then? One more hour, sir. I see. Carry on, then. Whoa, well, one more thing. Inspector Cabanela wishes to speak with you. Yeah. <laughs> Evening, Cabanela here. How you boys doing? Inspector Cabanela, fine, sir. You got another little call tonight, didn't you? For my baby. From Lynn? Uh, well, yes. Did my girl have anything 
interesting to say? Uh, not especially. She hung up almost immediately. <laughs> I see. Next time she gives you a buzz, be sure to let me know right away. That's a good fellow. Uh, yes, sir. You try to cover it up, and I'm sure you'll regret it very much. Very much. Yes, sir. I'll call you right away, sir. Immediately. Don't forget. She's a fugitive, after all. Yes, sir. Carry on, then. I might pop in a little later. Yes, sir. Looking forward to seeing you, sir. You know, I'm just thinking now. Lynn should be heading for the chicken kitchen now. But the call from police headquarters intrigues me, too. It's looking pretty obvious right now. That white-suited inspector suspects Lynn. And she's being considered a fugitive. This isn't good. wonder if I should go check in with the chief and the inspector in white, too. Inspector Cabanela seems to be looking for her, too. Your Lynn, I mean. Inspector Cabanela, what would that special investigation unit want with Lynn? I don't know. I guess something happened we don't know about. Tonight of all nights. Inspector Cabanela must be upset tonight, too. Weren't he and Prisoner D-99 Detective Zhao good friends? You sure about that? If they were such good friends, how come Inspector Cabanela never has come to visit him? He's the head of special investigation. He's a, a very busy man. Uh, uh, what's wrong? Jode was my hero, you know. I wanted to be a detective because of him. But look at me. Rotting away in a place like this. And I can't even do anything to help Lynn. What am I doing with my life? Um... The this is, this is a new side of you. It's kind of, uh, endearing. Anyway, the thing to do is, uh, work at fixing what you can, little by little. Like, for example, your house of cards. It just collapsed, you know. Ugh. <laughs> Poor guy. Um, well, let's go. No, why did I... Oh, thank goodness I could go back. Let's go check out this. Why isn't he wearing shoes? What the hell? Preparation, er, preparation seemed to be going smoothly over at the prison, eh, Inspector Cabanela? Hmm. We were just a little too late, so close, eh, Inspector? We still have a little time left, Chief. Not much, but some. We've had Point X surrounded all night. If he shows up, we nab him, and we can still make it. By the way, what's going on with that other case, the junkyard murder? She did it, eh? No question about it. She's a bad little baby. Disappearing from the scene like that. Wonder where she ran off to play. What did he just say? She did it. Did I hear that right? I think they were talking about the culprit who killed me. N no way. It's okay. Oh, there's another conversation here. Okay. I just don't believe it. Why would she do a thing like that? Fred, I don't have the answers for you, Chief. Don't want to believe it any more than you do. And yet... After seeing this, maybe we don't have any other choice but to believe, baby. Is that the security camera tape that investigation unit just delivered? I can't deny. It's some pretty solid evidence against her. Evidence. Nothing like it, baby. Hoof! <laughs> Why a murder case now on such an important night? Tisk tisk. Think you have that wrong, Chief. A murder case now for the very reason that it 
is such an important night. Okay. Wee. Speaker. Oh, let's see this footage then. The junkyard where I died had a security camera, and it captured the moment of my death perfectly. And what the tape showed me was the cruelest truth imaginable. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> um, you're kind of sketchy. <laughs> no, I, I promise, it's fine. I've got nothing in my briefcase. Nothing, uh, dangerous anyway. Ugh, just gonna lean here for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna kill you now. Okay? Here goes! Yep. Well, damn, you kinda missed. Try again. Ugh, 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 ugh. I saw myself shot right before my own eyes by Lynn. There goes my only lead. I feel like I've died all over again. One thing sticks with me, though. Lynn looks so surprised on that tape. What in the world did I tell her? You gotta kill me right now! <laughs> I imagine that's what it was. The truth is the truth, no matter how many times you watch it, Inspector Cabanella. It wasn't me who played the tape just now, baby. Oh, by the way, Inspector Cabanela, there's something on your tape that troubles me. And what's that, Chief? I'm all ears. I had a look at the photos of the crime scene as well, but... The place where the victim was shot and where the body was found is clearly different. He's right. That is strange. The hitman in black is the one who kicked me downstairs. But I changed his fate, so he should have been out of the picture. But there I am, down on the lower level. I have the answer to your mystery right here, a few minutes after the murder took place. Oh, more, more footage. A cat? <laughs> Is that a, a black cat? You got it, baby. A furry feline messed up our crime scene. And then the little cat culprit vanished into the night. Hmm. Looks like my destiny of being knocked downstairs is very hard to alter. This is point... Uh, this is point X. Come in, Chief. Chief is here. Did he show up? Uh, no, sir. Not yet, but... Idiot! I told you to stay off the radio unless it's important. But, but this is important, sir. Somebody else showed up. Our rookie detective, Lynn. What? You see my baby over there, do you? <laughs> on the lamb, wow. <laughs> I heard she was on the lamb. What do you want me to do, Chief? What do you say, Inspector? <laughs> detective. Get my baby away from point X. <laughs> Do it now, man, and then hold it on to her. Uh, yes, sir. I'll go get her now, sir. What's the meaning of this? Why would Lynn show up at point X? It took the special investigation unit six months to pinpoint that location. I don't know, Chief, but I'd say it wasn't a coincidence. Perhaps... What happened? Detective, come in! Uh-oh. Our Australian detective died. Now what? What happened this time? Damn it! This calls for a telephone call to Point X. Allow me.
Well, we know what we're doing now. I really have to do all this? Okay. Oh, I was... Uh, okay, hold on. He's got a croissant nose. <laughs> what are you doing? Get your bums over here! Wh what did you say? Now I finally understand. I finally know what it's like. For our poor hungry customers who have their food deliveries delayed. Uh, excuse me? But this is the chicken kitchen, is it not? What? Aren't I talking to the police? The police? Aaron, <laughs> why did I do the Australian guy? The police? Did something happen over there you need assistance with? Something happened here, you ask? More like there's nothing left to here. I gotta go. Wait, wait! <laughs> Updated the phone book. Oh no. Did the poor waitress get killed instead? What's going on? Something, that's what. Something's definitely going on. And that something's far from nothing. That's for certain. Thanks for the tea, Chief. I'll be, uh, on my way. You're going to Point X? Point X, eh? I'll leave that to the boys. There's someplace else I gotta be. Inspector, you being there isn't going to change anything. Why put yourself through it? I have a responsibility, and I'm going to see it through to the end. Besides, it's not quiet over yet. Right, that's true. Do what you must, then. Prisoner D99 scheduled for tomorrow was blank. Seems like forever ago that I found that out. Now my mind is even blanker than that blackboard was. Lynn, my only lead and my partner, shot me. What did it all mean? I knew where I had to go to get my answers. The chicken kitchen. The point X police have the police have surrounded. And the place where something big just happened. What will Lynn be involved in this time when I find her there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look. You can see the underground tunnel he's digging. <laughs> well, that's a good place as any to leave it. <laughs> oh, boy. L okay, a lot of information we've learned, right? We learned that uh, there's a prisoner, D99, that Lin's looking for. His name is Jowd. He was a detective and uh, murdered, apparently, his wife, who may be Lin's mother, but probably didn't actually do it. Um, we learned that Lynn shot Sissel, although it seems like Sissel specifically instructed her to shoot him. <laughs> because she was like, her hands were shaking. She's like, <laughs> and then she missed once and he didn't react at all. He's like, yep, uh, try again, I guess. <laughs> so maybe he knew about this whole ghost trick thing and that's what this whole uh, scientific whatever is about. That could make sense. Um, and then that Jowd guy is probably getting executed tonight in less than an hour. Um, unless the prison break happens, which could potentially be true. That, that could be what's going to happen with that guitar man. Um, and I wonder... I, I meant to mention this in the last episode, I think. I wonder if all those prisoners are actually, like, related to the same thing. Like, you know? The one uh, detective clearly got framed, probably, potentially for being, like, not dirty. <laughs> like, the only not dirty police officer in the main, like, in the higher-ups of the police office. And then, uh, you know, they threatened Lynn if he says anything at this point. Could be. Um, and then the, uh, the other two, because clearly he was this big inspiring community figure or whatever. 
the other two who are in there might have been seeking grievances for that guy getting tossed in jail for a crime that they're sure he didn't commit. Like, it seems like none of them want to admit why they actually did it. So it seems like they probably had a similar motive and it's all being covered up by the same person, right? Government secrets or whatever. Um, maybe it's that, that blue fella. <laughs> maybe he's the government. <laughs> Who knows? They're all wearing, like, regalia, so it's possible. Yeah, so that's my guess right now, is that Lynn did kill Sissel, but on Sissel's instruction. That's my best guess. <laughs> Either that, or... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. And maybe that cat is the lamp? Maybe? Because we know we can talk to animals as if they were people, so there's there's a chance that's true. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like there might be some sort of like Schrodinger's cat metaphor there that we're going to unpack later about like dead and not dead at the same time. Because that's kind of what this whole ghost trick thing is, right? It's like <laughs> you're dead but not dead until, you know, observed or whatever, <laughs> proven otherwise. Uh kind of funny anyway question of the video uh who's your favorite new character from this episode i guess did you like the italian chef uh who showed up for three minutes it was probably supposed to be french but oh well, it's harder to do a french accent for a long time period because it, it, my french just blends into like russian it's not good you know it's bad um or maybe it was the police chief who looks completely nondescript. It's funny. Everybody else has these like crazy stuff going on and he's just got like a square jaw <laughs> and like little uh, eyelashes, I guess, but that's not too stand out or any of the three prisoners. I'll count them or who else would be a newish character in this, the dead waitress who looks to be dead. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Become a member if you want to see these a week early. Okay, bye.